Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the boss of the Midgar Expressway, Motorball. Motorball is drastically changed from the original game. It's no longer a typical fight, now it's a chase on the motorcycle, the Hardy Daytona. So this became a lot more fun and a lot more entertaining. The fight is relatively simple. What you want to do is you want to drive as fast as possible and then get onto either side of the boss and then chop away at the tires. And you want to do that for each side. So each tire has its own uh, health pool. And then once you get all three tires down on one side, slow down, pull around to the other side, and then repeat the process. Doing so will stagger the boss. And this is by far the easiest way to fulfill Chadley's uh, battle intel mission of breaking the uh, stagger meter and going over 200%. By the time you're done with this boss, it'll be close to 700%. Because uh, the stagger meter keeps staying every time you stagger the boss. It stays at the same percentage. You can keep building and building and building. So right here, we are going to get very close to killing the sixth tire, but the boss is going to spin around, which you can do. You do a spin a Rooney. But now that we have all six tires down, it's our opportunity to just wail on the boss. If you have spinning slash available, I recommend using it here. It'll deal a lot of damage as well as a lot of stagger damage. So keep that in mind. So once the boss's stagger meter uh, goes all the way down, its tires will respawn. It does that auto inflate from Demolition Man. In this order, it comes back to life. The boss itself will also start spinning around and dropping fire all over the place. Uh, you want to slow down and then just hug either right or left, the opposite side of where the boss is. Usually he's on the left from what I've noticed, but that could have just been how I was driving. You want to slow down and hug that wall uh, this way. You don't get hit by any of the fire. Uh, word to the wise, you can die in this fight. It happened to me the first time. I really wasn't paying attention to my health. The alarm sound for when you're at low HP is terrifying. I thought my house was burning down. It sounds like a crazy fire alarm. In any event, we've now staggered the boss for the second time. So we're going to take off another 15 to 20 percent damage, and uh, we are going to keep building this stagger meter. So it's going to get down to about half health, and then we can resume. So when the boss is respawning his tires, you do want to slow down, and then you want to avoid this crazy WWE pyrotechnic show. It's like being in a Van Halen concert. It's wild. Uh, so uh, once the tires respawn, you can then uh, try to chase them and, and go back for them. When the boss is at 50% or lower, he will start dropping these electric charges on the highway, and you want to do your best to avoid those. Hitting one will slow you down. It will happen to me in this guide. Um, because the camera angle gets a little claustrophobic, as you can see there. So it deals damage and also slows you down. Additionally, the boss can, uh, when it gets further down in health, I believe below 25% HP, the boss will deal some giant uh, fire attack and will drop a huge uh, flame orb on the ground, and that will deal a ton of damage. As you saw there, I used uh, the uh, long distance attack by holding uh, L1 and then pressing triangle once the meter is full. And by doing that, if you target one tire on either side, so either if you target a right tire or a left tire, it will do um, an attack that will hit all the tires on that side. So it's very, very effective. Uh, if you can't catch up to the boss or if you keep getting hit by those electricity charges, just go ahead and use that long range attack. And it'll, it won't one shot the tires, but it'll get them down to about 15% HP for a guaranteed two hits. So just keep that in mind. So the boss here, we're gonna get him down to about 10% HP. And then he's gonna uh, come back alive. I'm going to start this pyrotechnic show one more time. So we're going to slow down, hug the left this time. And you're going to see him drop more uh, static charges as well as the giant fireball that I mentioned before. So we're going to use the long range attack. He's going to hit all the tires. As you can see, it, it did a whole bunch of damage to them. The charges here, the electricity orbs, uh, they're going to get closer together. And then there is the, the big boomer, as I like to call it. It's going to hit me like a ton of bricks. Uh, I am going to take some more damage here, and you're going to hear that harrowing alarm uh, but yeah as you can see the, the camera gets a little tricky there and when the boss is this low HP he puts his charges very close together so if you're gonna get a hit by one you're gonna get a hit by a whole bunch more so you got to be paying very close attention uh, when the boss is this low health you're gonna hear the crazy alarm here in a second as I get hit there it is I thought my house was burning down when I heard that alarm the first time in any event we're gonna stagger the boss one last time and then we're gonna deal some final hits to him and the boss will die. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Final Fantasy VII Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. Don't forget to check out my new community Discord server. The link to that is in the video description below. 
If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll see Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. No time for you! You can do it!